So let's just first go through a simple solution and how we can reproject this using batch processing. And then I'll show you how to use expressions to derive your output teams. In your QGIS, we'll load the from the solutions, the batch processing checkpoint one. So this is the starting point for the exercise. We had to do the reproject layer and we'll execute a batch process. We want to reproject all the layers. So we'll select all the layers and we have the five rows here. So we have our input layers. We want the target projection to be 2643. We'll fill it down so that all of them have the same one. And again, this one can remain the same. What normally you would do is you would say, I have my layer named clipped urban areas. I want to use that to derive my output names. So let's say I want to put them in my downloads folder. So I would go and say, I want my output layers to be named reprojected underscore. And then you can say autofill the suffix using the input layer parameter. And this works, but you can see the layer names become reprojected underscore clipped urban areas. Because my input was clipped urban areas, so output will be reprojected underscore that area, which is okay. But what if I want to name something totally different? I want to, you know, have derived my own name. Maybe I just want to have reprojected underscore places, reprojected underscore rivers. How can I kind of derive this in a more controlled way? So if you do not like the, the default way of doing things, you can do your own derivation of the output teams using this option. From autofill, you see this two options, calculate by expressions and add values by expression. This value, calculate by expression, allows you to write an expression which will be evaluated per row in the expression engine, you have the access to this layer and all the parameters. So you can say, I have this layer, I have this parameter, can I construct a path? And that expression will be run for each of the rows and you get your output name. The, similarly, there's a, another option, add values by expression, where you can say, I need five layer names. Can I just generate a list of five names directly? And it'll just be filled. So sometimes you have some values, for example, I have 10 layers, I want to assign them value one to 10. You can generate a list of numbers from one to 10 and use them as a sequential ID for each of those. So if you want to generate all of them in a single expression, this is the one. If you want to write an expression, that'll be run one for each data set. This is the one option. So let's use this. And when I open the expression builder, you can see it looks similar, except that we have some bold text available here. These are the variables which are now available for that particular row. So when this row will be evaluated, you have access to this variables. You can see we have this input. And if I just say input, it will be noted as at input. In QGIS expressions, anything that starts with at is a variable and they are context dependent. So in this case, we have this at input and you can see there's a long name here. So this input is the input for the first row. And for the second row, this input will be the second layer, clip clicks and so on. When you do this add input, you get access to the layer ID. So this is the internal ID that QGIS uses to reference to this layer. If you want to get a name or path or some idea of what this layer is, there is a function called layer property, which is a very helpful function when you're working with files in QGIS, where you can give a layer path or a layer ID, and you can say extract certain values out of this. So what is the layer name? What is the title? what is the path to this, what's the CRS, et cetera. So you can kind of extract all those values using this function. So let's use this and say, I want to derive the layer property of this layer. I just want the name of the layer. And you can see the name of the layer is clipped urban areas. If I want the path of this, you can see it gives me the path of that layer. So this is quite helpful, not only for this, but in many other contexts. Let us use the name. So we have this name and the output file name that we want has to be reprojected urban areas. So how do we change this name to be reprojected urban areas? If the air name was clipped rivers, it has to be reprojected rivers. So we can use this option called replace. There's a replace function that says, given a string, you can replace some values. So I can say replace clipped with reprojected. So you can see my layer name was clipped urban areas, it became reprojected urban areas. I just used the replace function to substitute the text. And now I just want to give the file name. So my file name has to be reprojected urban areas.geo package. So I want to add .geo package to it. In QGIS, if you want to combine two strings, 
you have this operator. You can see there's a pipe operator. This is string concatenation. So if you have this two pipes, that says you can join two strings. So I can now say dot G package. So you can see I have, I took a layer ID and I was able to extract the layer name, replace the clip part with the reprojected, and now I have the output file name that I constructed. And as this is done for every row, the input will be replaced with that layer ID and you get the, the output name. And all that is left to see is now just make it a full path, depending on a system where you want to store it, you can give the full path. I'm on a Mac, so my path looks like this. Say users, my username downloads, and I can join this. So you can see now I have constructed a path saying that my output path has to be this with the new layer name and the GeoPacket extension. If you are on Windows, you can do something like, you know, C, users, whatever, et cetera. Right? So you can kind of construct a path that makes sense for your file system. So this is the expression. I'm just going to say okay and see what happens. And you can see my output paths. All output paths now have reprojected underscore whatever the layer name was. And I could construct this path. And again, this shows you the power of expression where you can manipulate the input layers, the parameters that you have, and you can use that to derive some output values. Let's run this and see how it works. And you can see it worked. And I got my output layers. I have all the reprojected layers that are named correctly. And you can now package them into the geo package.